Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ codebase and deploy it to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're going to go through some hands-on examples with operator overloading. Now, if you've been watching along, I'm starting in a brand new fresh file. So make sure you are in the folder that you are working on. In this case, I'm working in a file positioning.cpp and you should be able to compile. I'm just saying that just because I have this bad habit of switching folders and then I end up compiling the previous files or I'm in the wrong position and nothing's working right. So make sure you're in the right spot. So here's what we're gonna do really quickly. We're going to create a class for a position. So basically X, Y coordinates. These are going to be public and we're going to say int X equals 10 and int Y equals 20. I'm hesitant to say equals because this is the assignment operator, but you guys get what I'm saying. So these are the default values. If you do not override them, they will have the value 10 and 20. So then inside a main, we can create two positions. So we'll say position pose one and pose two. And let's say we wanna create a third position. So we'll just say position pose three. And what we wanna do is we wanna assign it to pose one plus pose two. Now, if we were using integers, this would make sense because you could say int x equals a plus b, for example. And let's assume this is five and five, then this would have the value 10. But it doesn't make sense in this context because the compiler doesn't know how to add two positions. So when we compile, we should get an error. And you can see it says invalid operands to binary expression. And also that I forgot a stinking semicolon after my class. Oh, it gets me every time. We all have our flaws. That is like my Achilles heel, but you know, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. So what we need to do is we need to overload this operator to basically teach the compiler how to add two positions. So how's that gonna look? Well, inside of the class, all we need to do is we need to say position, operator, and what operator are we overloading? Plus, and then inside here, it's going to take the right um, position. So this is going to be what's passed in as an argument. So we need to say position, pose or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. All right. So basically what's going on here is that this is defined within the position class. So inside the instance pose one, this method is going to be called operator plus and pose two is going to be passed in as an argument to this parameter here. When it's done, it's going to return a value and that's going to be assigned to pose three. So that's why we're returning a position. So a lot going on here, but just let's just uh, type it out and hopefully it makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to start defining this position here. So we can just create a new position and we'll just call it new pose. And we can start assigning it values. We can say new pose dot X and assign it the value X plus pose dot X. So this X here is going to refer to this instance's X. And then this one here is going to refer to the, the parameter here, which is going to be position two. And I'm gonna clear this error, it's driving me crazy. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna do that again for y, so we'll say new pose dot y equals y plus pose dot y. And then all we have to do is say return new pose. All right, so let's compile now, see if we got any errors. And it looks like we need to compile with C++ 11, which is my second biggest weakness, so make sure I always remember to do that, guys. So we're gonna say standard equals C++ 11. Oh my golly, my typing. <laughs> C++ 11, all right, there we go. Cool. So let's just make sure it worked. Let's do an output. We will output position 3.x, a space, and then position 3.y, and then we'll just do a new line. Compile and run, and you can see we get 20 and 40. So it seems that it worked because originally we had 10 and 20, and when you add those up, you should get 10 plus 10, which is 20 and 20 plus 20, which is 40. Awesome, so we just taught the compiler how to add positions, very cool. Now what I wanna do is I wanna overload the comparison operator. So I wanna say, if position one is equal to position two, I want to output they are the same. 
I also want to output that I really love tacos and pizza. All right, now let's compile. Oh, uh, what? We get another error. Invalid operands to binary expression. So now we have to overload this in comparison operator, and we will do that up in the class as well. So now let's see if you can do it. Give the video a pause, type it out, and now that you've done that, let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this is going to return a Boolean because it's a comparison. It needs to be true or false. So this is the operator equals equals, and this is going to take a position on the right. Now, when it comes to how to space this out, sometimes you'll see these crunch together, and that's totally fine as well. I don't really care how you guys do it. Just be consistent, and um, yeah, that's basically it. So now inside of here, we can do an if statement. We will say if x is equal to pose.x and y equals pose.y, we will return true. Now, if this does not get hit, then we can just by default return false. You do not have to put it in else, although you can if you want. That would work exactly the same way, but anytime you're going to get to this line, you already know it's not going to be true. So this is a little bit cleaner in my opinion. All right, now let's compile, see if we got any syntax errors, and we do not. So what I wanna do is I want to run this and see if it outputs this here. And indeed, it does say they are the same. Now if we were to change some stuff, let's say position 2.x is equal to 30. Well now let's compile and see what happens. When I run this, you can see I do not get that output. So it seems that our operator overloading has worked, and that's just great. The cool thing about operator overloading is you can define the functionality, right? If you want to just see if they're the same by x and not including y, you can do that. Or any kind of custom functionality, you can define that inside of your operator overloading. These were just the most logical ways of doing these operators for me, but you might have some different way of basically comparing them or adding them up. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to overload the insertion operator, the two less than signs. So I would like to just be able to say, for example, C out, and then we just pass in position three. And then it just doesn't output the way we expect it to. Now I think I'll do the overload for this one in the user class we were working on earlier, but we got a pretty good foundation with the comparison and the addition operator. So you should be able to pick it up pretty quickly for a more complex example, such as a user. So let's go to that video. Please be sure to subscribe and let's just go have some fun. All right, I'll see you in the next one.